Hello friends, welcome to Yogic and Modern Science. In today's episode, I will be talking about uh, the new shape of the universe and this is part 3. Uh, we have already uh, made two uh, other videos on this subject, new shape of the universe. In the first episode, uh, I had explained about uh, the whole universe being curved. Uh, universe is not flat, okay, but it is curved, it is elliptical in uh, shape. So uh, it was in the first episode. In the second episode of this series, we had talked about the energy of consciousness or energy of, uh, you can say, uh, the, uh, the conscious energy. Or, uh, and this conscious energy uh, has three components. Uh, the sound, the speed, okay, and the power. Okay, so these are three components of this energy, and this energy is vertical uh, to the whole universe. Okay, because the whole universe is elliptical in shape. Okay, or you can say uh, the uh, you can say uh, distorted spherical. Okay, you can say like this. So and if uh, this universe is horizontal right it is lying horizontal then to its vertical to its perpendicular okay there is one more ring of energy okay which is called uh, the energy of consciousness okay so this uh, i had talked about in the second episode in this episode in the third part i'll be talking about <coughs> the three components or the three division within the universe right you can see in the whole universe there are you know heavenly bodies there are very very subtle bodies minute uh, you know uh, things uh, like unicellular uh, plants and animals okay and so on you know there are multiple uncountable number of galaxies in the whole universe and there are very very small organisms and very very small uh, you know particles okay like now people are talking about scientists are talking about uh, the god particle okay which are very very minute what i am trying to say is that whatever is the size of any particle in this whole universe be it god particle or be it the whole galaxy or the whole universe I'll say each unit is divided into three parts now what is that three part okay let me tell you okay from a picture okay if uh, <coughs> I take this picture okay this picture okay you can see now it is it is more clear okay now suppose okay this is the whole universe okay now you can take it as the whole universe or any subtlest particle of the nature okay like god particle you know everything is is of this size is of this shape i mean okay and this vertical energy okay it is called the energy of consciousness right now the point where it is crossing where it is you know passing by okay now to this left okay there is uh, uh, this is one uh, part and to its right okay there is another okay and there is one fine line okay between these two part okay which you can call neutral now these three divisions is found in every system in all types of particle okay be it the subtlest particle or be it a heavenly body okay or be it the whole universe also okay so everything is divided in this whole universe in three parts in three components positive negative and neutral right and because of these three divisions in each and everything in each and every system okay 
uh, the whole universe there is movement in this whole universe okay uh, things are being created things are being destroyed okay then there is a uh, neutral point okay then again okay they are taking shape right they grow more and more and ultimately everything you know uh, becomes dead okay they die again they get into a new shape like this so the whole movement of this universe okay the whole you know uh, creation you can say so creation is taking place because of this three division in each and every system of this universe i am talking about this universe okay not of the conscious energy right conscious energy uh, you know it it has also three components that is another thing okay that is different thing okay but what i am talking about is the system of the universe only okay the material part so the material may be too small to detect by any instrument or it might be too big again not to be detected by any instrument okay so any part any kind of system any kind of particle any kind of body okay it has got three components in our body also okay there are three components okay there is uh, negative energy there is positive energy and there is neutral energy for example in our breathing system okay what is breathing system okay uh, you know uh, left nose right nose okay and this this is the uh, neutral point okay and uh, in yogic science it is also called uh, ida pingala and sushumna nadi right so the ida and pingala okay these two kind of breathing okay through this breathing okay all the functions of energy takes place uh, of this body takes place okay so uh, all kinds of movement is due to these two kind of breathing okay ida and pingala okay but when sushumna breathing okay the sushumna nadi okay if it uh, comes into play then this is a neutral point and if your mid uh, part of the nose or or the breathing okay is uh, is uh, playing or uh, you know it is into action okay then if you meditate in that state okay then you can realize the conscious energy also okay you will be more more awakened okay and you will become more spiritual okay because the spiritual energy or the energy of consciousness will be just in front of you okay that is why so this neutral point is very very important okay because this is the point okay or this is the line okay where the energy of consciousness passes by okay and uh, from this line okay on one side there is negative part okay of the particle and there is on the other side okay there is po uh, ne positive part so negative positive and the neutral so i wanted to explain okay this uh, division okay in the universe so that uh, you can come to realize how everything is taking place okay all kinds of creation is happening inside the universe okay because of the three components if this division were not there then what would have happened nothing would have happened okay this existence would not have happened at all okay because one cannot create anything until one gets divided in two parts positive and negative okay with a neutral part also okay only then any kind of creation can take place and this is what i wanted to explain to all of you uh, right and uh, this is the direct perception or direct realization okay of uh, sharma ji uh, right and uh, this is not uh, the deduction of data or some kind of a speculation or a proposition okay this is the direct uh, you can say uh, realization okay of this whole system so previously in the previous episodes we had talked about the three principles okay but those three principles uh, is of uh, i mean it is the complete system it was a complete system okay one was prakriti and energy of consciousness and jivatmas okay but this three system i am talking about 
is different okay it is within the universe only within the prakriti only so in prakriti also each and everything okay has three components in itself positive component negative component and the neutral point and to the neutral point in front of the neutral point okay there is energy of consciousness so this energy of consciousness divides okay every system in two parts right so hopefully uh, the contemporary scientist one day uh, will come to this realization they will also uh, you know research okay or explore into the subject okay and hopefully they will also come to know uh, this system okay in everything right so that uh, you know the whole creation the whole uh, you know universe can be explained more clearly thank you